Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? Me? I'm looking forward to showing you a new podcasting app, which was the winner on our weekly App Wednesday show. The app is a podcasting tool called Overcast. The winner of this week's App Wednesday contest, our good friend Eric Fisher. Overcast today on Dotto Tech. As you should know by now, every week on Blab, we have a weekly show called App Wednesday, where we take a look at the coolest, the best apps for mobile uh, and sometimes for desktop. And at the end of each episode, a winner is chosen, and it is my responsibility to showcase that winning app here on our channel. And the winning app this week is from Eric Fisher, who has a great podcast called Beyond the To-Do List. Eric is one of the staffers at Social Media, at Social Media Examiner, a uh, bright, bright guy indeed and he brought to us not surprisingly a podcasting app now anybody who's used the podcasting app in the iOS world knows that Apple's podcasting app pretty much pretty much sucks uh, and so they he so overcast is an alternate podcasting management tool to manage your list of podcasts which Eric thinks is excellent and I've been using it now for about a week since he uh, since he showcased it and I gotta say I am liking it. It's a free app. Download it. And once you've opened it on your phone, you can see that we've got, as you'd expect, a list of podcasts available and some tools across the top. The main tools that you have to be concerned with is the plus tool, which allows you to search the directory to find new podcasts. They also offer suggestions uh, of podcasts that you might want to add so you can add new podcasts using this tool. Now for me though, one of the biggest benefits of this tool is the fact that when you're in the play mode, it has a few different technologies in place that will help you listen to your podcast in a more efficient manner. Basically, it'll allow you to speed things up. It's got technology that will shorten the, 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 uh, the pauses, uh, and which basically reduces the number amount of time it takes to listen to a podcast. And you can also speed up the podcast. Now, with most podcast players, you can speed it up, but it does a very elegant job of doing that. So I'm just going to get this playing kind of in the background. Here's a podcast that I love, Marcus Sheridan, bright guy. If you're into content marketing in any way, shape, or form, the sales lion is somebody that we can all learn from. So if I just get that started and get it playing, you can see down here in the bottom, as it's playing along, I've got the different effects. So I've actually got mine set at a slightly, smart, at a slightly higher speed so it'll take about a third less time to listen to a one-hour podcast than it normally would and I can still understand it very clearly they also have this voice boost tool which we see here which does a great job of handling some of the uh, some of the technical challenges some podcasters have sometimes because of the way they record a podcast their mic is nice and loud but their guests mic might be quiet because they might be doing a Skype interview or something in that case there it basically normalizes and equalizes all of the different uh, audio tracks or the different audio levels within it which is a nice a nice additional feature and uh, the rest of the tools are you know you can choose to play with it as you want um, uh, adjusting the, the speed making it faster or slower uh, but for me that just the, the fact that I can increase the speed that way and I can shorten the white shorten the white space shorten the silent spaces or the pauses means that now a podcast that might take me have taken me an hour to listen to now takes me 45 or 46 minutes and I just am able to consume that much more content They've got some nice management tools as far as handling, you know, which uh, your list and which ones you want to save and which ones you want to delete. They've got all the tools you'd expect in that space. And it's a nice clean interface that allows you to see the graphics and a quick description of all of the different podcast episodes as well. So overall, it's is it a massive leap forward over the standard or the built-in podcast player? No, but it's a nice incremental step forward. Got some nice features and allows you to basically, I find it a little bit more of a pleasant experience. There are three ways to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this channel. Secondly, please subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can send you notification of upcoming live events, such as different webinars and trainings that we do, as well as updates on all of our videos. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded site supported through the generosity of our patrons at Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, have a look at what supporting Dotto Tech looks like, and discover what perks I'm including to those patrons, and those perks are indeed wonderful. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.